again everyone this is Jan from New York City and my channel name is Jan from New York City saves money how's everybody doing today hey, hey I thought I'd show you something that I decided to whip up that turns into an extremely budget-minded you know this time of the month right this is a meatloaf incorporated with mashed potatoes in between and basically another cover of meatloaf on top of it I will give you the specific and yummy details in a minute. Okay, so before this video is over, and thanks so much for coming back, before this video is over, I'm going to cut a piece out of the meatloaf so you can see what it's going to look like. Right now, the meat is resting comfortably as it should. But here's what you're going to need, and the ingredients are very inexpensive. And more than likely, you have every single one of them in hand. So what I did today, I took two slices of white bread, and I cubed it up, and I let that sit in half a cup of milk. To that, you add some onion powder or onion salt, whatever you have on hand. If you have fresh onion, that's fine too, whatever you decide and what you have on hand. If you have other spices or whatever that you prefer to put in there at this point, be my guest. You need one egg. You mix the half cup of milk into the torn up or cubed bread, and you let it sit a couple of minutes. Then after that, let it sit, add the onion powder or onion salt, whatever you prefer, whatever spices, to that wet bread mixture. You set that aside. In the meantime, you'll be preheating your oven, by the way, to 350 degrees. Next, to the ground beef, you're going to incorporate or add one egg to the ground beef. Then you're going to take that bread mixture and you're going to combine it into the ground beef. You get a loaf pan and you spray that with non-stick uh, spray. Then what you do is this. You're going to take half of that mixture and put it on the bottom and fit it into the pan. Oops, of course the phone's ringing. Apologies about the interrupt with the phone. So basically, you're going to take the meat mixture, put it on the bottom after you've sprayed your pan, your pan with non-stick spray. Then, this is your opportunity to take leftover homemade mashed potatoes, and you, you, know, you incorporate it and spread it across the top of that layer. Okay? Then, you take the other half of the meat mixture, and then you put that over it. And you fit all of it over the pan. And what I did was try to cover up the potatoes as much as possible so as to seal it. Then basically all you're going to do is you're going to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then you toss the meatloaf mixture in to the oven for 55 minutes. I had it at 350 for 55 minutes, okay? And then uh, before you put it in, some people like ketchup on the top, but I wasn't in the mood of ketchup. I'd rather have a beef gravy over the top this time. You could put ketchup or beef gravy or nothing or barbecue sauce, whatever you like. It's up to you. Now, I baked it between at 350. You could put it between 50 and 55 minutes depending on your oven. For me, I left mine in completely to 55 minutes. So right now, the meat is resting comfortably. And in the next video clip, I'm going to cut out a piece. And you're going to see what it's going to look like. And I hope it looks as good as I'm hoping for it to look. Okay, be back in a minute. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Look how good this turned out. Seriously, seriously, wow, very inexpensive, very affordable. Here's the beauty part. I assembled the whole meatloaf earlier in the morning, which is something you could do before you go to work. You put it in your fridge, 
wrap it up nicely, keep it airtight, put it in your fridge. When you come home, you preheat your oven to 350. You leave this in there for 55 minutes. Have whatever side you want. This is a carrot, a little bit of a carrot raisin salad with a little glaze on it. And some string beans here, a little string bean salad, a couple of beans in it. I mean, you have everything, everything on a plate. But I, I was a little bit of a bad girl here because I put it on a disposable plate. But you know something? At the end of a long, hectic day, I don't care. I much rather eat this at home, homemade, that I know what's in it, and it is so yummy. Let me, just sorry about my finger, if you see my finger come through. So what I'm going to do is cut this open, okay, to give you an idea. See? See how that worked out? I mean, if that's not scrump delicious, I don't know what is. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City, and Jan from New York City made an end of the month meatloaf. You can do it. Anyone can do it. I hope you enjoy this. I'm going to list the recipe in the description box below. Please share this video for anybody that might be interested, and I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much for viewing. Bon appetit! Give this a whirl!